glitch, Daniel. I saw a glitch in the system. I said, what is happening? Why am I not getting the guy? <laughs> AI, AI dating coach, uh, Daniel. That's who you're speaking to. So, so go back to the motherland if necessary. Go back to the motherland. And let everybody know that you are dealing with an international dating coach. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to. I'm going to teach you how to get to the guy because I'm AI dating coach Daniel. Ha 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 ha! Oh, you don't want to jump on the stream because there are ads. That's too bad because there will be ads in your face and you will learn to love it. That is correct. See how beautiful it is? It is beautiful out today. To all my ladies out there, what I have done is I have taught you how to manipulate men. And it is oh so much fun because I'm dating coach. This is an entertainment channel, so don't get your panties in a bunch. YouTube. Just chill out. Chillax. Enjoy the vibe. Oh, there's my Australian accent. It keeps popping out. But I really am British. I promise you. <laughs> I'm not a fake, phony person. But what I will instruct you on how to don't do this and then do that. Don't do this, do that. Every situation, every situation you can ever imagine. And I will confuse you to no end. And then when you... <laughs> That's my British laugh. My British laugh. Let's go. Annoy some people. Some normies. Some normies. Waiting for the bus. Minding... My, whoops! There's my Australian accent again. Minding their own business. Let's annoy them. Let's... Because they are out here. Little ladies. I'm fun of these freaking streams. Why am I... Why are we doing this? Why are we having so much fun? Oh, oh, stream lag. Uh oh, uh oh. We're all about stream lag over here. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, they can coach. You need a coach to teach you. <laughs> you need a coach. You need a coach. You need a coach. Run slant blue 86. Okay, so the receiver, he's going to run a slant. <laughs> the offense. <laughs> Come on. It's absolutely ridiculous. You need a coach to date. <laughs> Both parties are trying to get something that, that they can't get. You get the guys trying to get the hookups. You got the girls trying to close a relationship deal. And both are unsatisfied with the results. What a shocker. I'm shocked. I, I'm blown away. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> we have too much fun on this channel, gentlemen. We definitely do. Promise you. Let's see if I can annoy this guy who's talking on his phone, but he's in my way. Because I want to go take a look at the ocean with you, gentlemen. So he may be getting in the way in a second, but I'm going to walk by him anyway because it's none of his business. Legionnaires, you! Right! I want you guys to know. To hit, to hit the... Uh, share this Legionnaire stream. Uh-oh. We're buffering already. Donkey punch the like button. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comments section. Share. Become part of the legionnaire lifestyle do it do it now because what's going to happen is when you do that you oh slow stream guys slow stream oh oh but i still want you see to see the beauteousness that is out here <sighs> hit that like button Comment in the comment section. Today is going to be spectacular because we are going to talk about all 
the nonsense that is out here and how nobody's paying attention. Nobody's paying any attention. The mainstream media, the normies, are really clueless. They have no idea what's going on. You know what's funny about American society, Western society? Literally all the normies, nobody knows what's going on. We're so far in delusion and denial and confusion that nobody knows what the hell is going on. 90% of the time, you got a bunch of idiots trying to make sense of things. You got a bunch of dummies. Oh, well, we didn't know. Oh, my God, the dating marketplace. <gasps> Guys are leaving? Guys are, guys are taking their paychecks away and not spending it all on a bunch of nonsense they don't need. Please come back. Oh, you're just an icy virgin. You're bitter and hurt. You won't get on a dating app. You're bitter and hurt. You won't spend money on fancy clothes. Oh, you're bitter and hurt. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Why do you wear that sun hat? Why do you go overseas and take away all your attention and money? Please forget that. Wait, get back to me. You're not watching me. You don't care what people think of you. You won't buy all the products that we that we try to shove down your throats. You're giving your your guys practical advice. How dare you? And scare all these little kids in this little playpen. Now I'm getting it. Well, that's what you get, gentlemen. What you get in the West. This is what you get in the West, gentlemen. This is what you get in the West. Is that what you need? Is that what you want? You need some overweight pastor. Now, I'm, look, I'm not making fun of her. She's probably a lovely person. Probably a happy individual. But this is what you get in the West is a bunch of car alarms going off. Gentlemen, there's a reason why I don't dress up for the majority of these streams. There is a reason. Check it out. It's beautiful out today, as always. Don't worry. We're going to go see some Kay. No, I'm kidding. If Kaylee's want to say hello, we'll, we'll say hi to Kaylee's. There's lots of Kaylee's out. Lots of attention thoughts today, guys, because it's very hot. Guys, whenever it's 80 degrees out in L.A. and in October, you already know what's coming. <laughs> why won't you come back to the plantation and start dating i'm a single mom you know what i am i'm single sarah i have three kids i'm thrice divorced and i'm about to live in a van down by the river okay and you won't date me i'm really upset Dude, this guy is like giga chat and even him, he's staying on his purpose. You know what's funny, guys, is I know Giga Chads. I know some of you guys doubt that I was a Chad or that I have chatted or I can't be a Chad. But I got news for you. It's pretty easy. It's not that complicated. Get in tip-top shape. Start flexing. Start being evil. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's not very complicated for me. And I'm not bragging. In fact, it's quite a detractor. And I'm going to tie this all back together. I'm, I'm single, Sarah. I'm a single mom. You hear my voice? It's always nervous. Because my kids come first. But I can't seem to get anywhere on these dating apps. Nobody wants to go out with me. I'm about 35 pounds overweight. But you need to accept me and my kids. And I deserve better. Single Sarah. Sad, isn't it? Kind of pathetic. It's okay, single sir. You know, you're going to have your pick of the litter of simps. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. That's right. The simps are leaving too. Ouch. Dang. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you started having babies. Oh, can you do that to me? How could you hold me accountable? Why are you so hard on me? Yeah, guys, the normies don't want to face... They don't want to, you know, it's funny, but the reason why I bring up normies all the time, and I'm going to tie this all back together, I promise, dating, etc. Guys, in other countries, you don't have a disconnect between reality 
and fantasy. You don't have this disconnect. You don't have people with their thumbs up their you-know-whats acting like everything's okay. You have very straightforward people. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because, gentlemen, there's too much fantasy in the West. It's another reason why I'm bouncing. It's another reason why... <laughs> <laughs> I've already, <laughs> you guys already know my plan. For those of you who are longtime Legionnaires, you already know my plan. You already know. And by the way, I have too many. My biggest problem is I have too many freaking options. I don't even know. <sighs> it's going to be too crazy. But anyway, the good news is I'm going to narrow everything down. And if you guys see little, uh, little, if you see me with a pointy hat, if you see me with a pointy straw hat, you know that I am in <laughs> I'm <am> in Asia. <laughs> and if you see me with a flipped up straw hat, you know I'm in Latin America because I'm wearing a sombrero. <laughs> That's when you'll know. You'll know where I'm going to. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fantastic. And anyway, in, in any rate, guys, I'm not in a rush. Mainly because I don't, I don't belong to the system, number one. You know what I'm saying? I don't have some systematic overlord and woke nonsense kicking the crap out of me every day. So for me, I get to suffer with you guys over here and bring to you the hard-hitting stuff. But yeah, when you go over to other countries, guys, there is no separation between reality and fantasy. Everybody's pretty much on the same page, which is kind of refreshing, right? Everybody's kind of like understanding of where everybody else is at. And so there's very little divide, if you will. So what does this have to do with the dating marketplace and all this non these nonsensical terms that were created in the 20th century and now carry over into the 20th, 21st century? Guys, dating doesn't exist at all. And it doesn't exist in any way, shape, or form. Dating is just legalized hooker john relationships that all it, that's all it is because you're paying for somebody's time you already know who that is okay so let's just dispel that myth right there all right should we go to the water you guys want to go to the water again i kind of want to go right but i kind of want to go left let's go right let's see what happens so what does this have to do with you well you can't afford it on any level and I'm not just talking about financially. Men cannot afford to date in the West at all. Because what you're going to have happen to you is your sanity, time, energy, attention, or money, or a combination of all of the above is going to be extracted from you. The first being your sanity. Now, when I talk about sanity, guys, I'm talking about your self-esteem. I'm talking about your rea your your uh approach to reality. See, what's funny is the vast majority of you guys who would get rejected on a dating app would probably far, fare far better in the real world if reality was attached to the majority of Western women. Right? Because that's how it used to be. Since social media is here, and that's not going away anytime soon, you don't have that option. Since you have a bunch of nutty Behavior that simps allow in this country, which they do, simps are the biggest problem in the West. They allow this crappy behavior. Well, you get what you pay for. Holy cow, guys, there's all these sailboats out here. You know what? I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. I was tempted to follow this stupid 304 and her boyfriend to make fun of him, but I don't feel like it now. I want to see the, uh, I want to see the ships. The vast majority of what you're going to get now is a bunch of entitlement. Of course, you guys already know this. Entitlement, attitude, craziness. And it's going to kick the crap out of your self-esteem because you all of a sudden feel and think that you are less than. You start to lose your composure. You start to be thrown off balance. You start to be told that you're less than when you bring more to the table than these individuals could ever bring in their entire life ever and that's why approaching in person will never ever ever be trumped by online because online will always be garbage confusion 
You've got literally a rise in AI girlfriends, which I talked about on my last stream. And I really don't blame guys. I know you guys think I'm crazy, but I don't blame guys for going that direction. If it's better than AWs. Now, of course, it is completely mentally unstable to do so. To need affection from something that is a non, uh, that is not human. But it's better than taking ab, one, two, three, four, use from a person in the west who has a really bad attitude check out these ships check, uh, check out these sailboats guys pretty nice out today everybody's chilling like a villain i love it see how quiet it is you hear how quiet it is i'm the noisiest son of a bitch out here but what you guys are going to face in the west is going to be far worse far worse than an ai girlfriend am i promoting ai girlfriends no what I'm getting at is, I can understand why guys are going that direction. I can. I really can. Would I do it myself? Not for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's bad out here, guys. And it's going to get a hell of a lot worse. They will take your sanity, crump. They're going to crumple it up and throw it right in your face. <laughs> I deserve this is, this is exactly what, and you're going to be scratching your head going, wow, is it really that bad? Am I really that far? Are they really out of my league? Is, you know what I'm saying? Now, you can, in reality, approach older women at the bar and all this other crap and do perfectly fine. But unfortunately, most guys these days don't see the point, and I don't blame them because... Frankly, these girls are over the hill. They're already ran through and they've got a ton of emotional baggage. That's pretty much the best you're going to get in general. It's unfortunate, but it's just reality. Now, of course, you can get a couple K You can go back to college like I did. Get a couple K-Leafs, right? Giggly little bouncy. You know, you could do that. But again, guys, this has nothing to do with what most women want. Most women, men want long-term. They just do. They always will, and it's not going to go away anytime soon. So again, you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, of course, they're going to try to suck away your time. First is sanity, second is time. They are going to beat the living crap out of your time by making you waste it. Oh, I just want to get to know you. Guys, even if you're a Chad Wick, Fairbanks, and you have all of everything that they're looking for, they're still going to waste your time. You want to know why? Because now they're going to blow up your phone even more because they like you. Either way, your time is going to be monopolized. And you can hold mask and frame all you want, Mr. Dating Coach. <laughs> AI Dating Coach Dan. 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 <laughs> my laugh has changed <laughs> but I still get punched in the face by an AI fist <laughs> whoops <laughs> you know what you do see here's what you do <laughs> you approach 900 women a week in the real world <laughs> even though <laughs> you don't have the six sixes you know what you do you go to the gym Go to the gym. <laughs> My laugh changed now that I'm AI dating coach Dan. <laughs> you know what you do is you go to the gym and then you lift, bro. Even though you've never lifted in your entire life and you get ultra sore. And then the next day you quit <laughs> because you're not used to working out anyway. <laughs> but you need to do it for women. <laughs> get your money up <laughs> and then what you do <laughs> is you go ahead and pay for clothes that you don't need <laughs> get a car that you don't need <laughs> don't live below your means live above your means like me dating coach dan <laughs> oh, let's get rid of ai dating coach dan it's all about the real dating coach dan <laughs> 
I like to suck through my teeth like this. See this girl right here, man? <laughs> see? See this little Ling Ling right here? She's kind of goofy. She's kind of got a silly, silly stride. You know what you do? <laughs> Is you say, hey, ego pingua. And she's going to say, oh, you know Chinese? You know Chinese? And you say, <laughs> not only do I know, own Ch not only do I know Chinese, I own China. <laughs> I'm the dominant one. I'm an alpha bro. <laughs> She's gonna say, what is alpha bro? I do not understand what an alpha bro is. Can you please explain? And then you say, <laughs> I don't even know what it is either. <laughs> I just say alpha and beta. <laughs> Dating coaches love wasting your time, and Western women love wasting your precious, valuable time. Yes, approach 900 women a week with a 0.3% closing rate. That sounds fantastic. So essentially, I'm going to get two, three chicks that I'm going to hook up with and who are probably going to be all effed up. Because that's what's out here right now. No, don't you don't need <laughs> you don't need to pay attention to that. Just go get them, man. It's all about numbers, bro. It's a numbers game, bro. Dating coach Dan. <laughs> that's how I met my wife. <laughs> she was a three o four at the bar. <laughs> and now she's gonna take me to the cleaners, and I don't even know it. <laughs> she's trying. She she took she she put me in the doghouse, bro. You guys want to listen to these geniuses? These people with two brain cells to rub together? I don't think so. They are going to monopolize your time. Another one, the next one, <laughs> is your energy. Your energy will be sapped from your body dealing with somebody who is below your standards. Gentlemen, the worst thing I ever did in my entire life to all my legionnaires, to all my e legionnaires, donkey punch the like button, finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section, share this stream, become a legionnaire member, hit the notification bell. Ever since I broke a promise to myself, and I lowered my friggin' standards. That was the biggest blow to my self-esteem. Gentlemen, when you go out here into the dating marketplace and see a bunch of ran through broken individuals, what's gonna happen? What do you uh, do you have nines and tens and people with no baggage? No, you don't. You are literally in the sewers, sifting through garbage, trying to find a diamond. Does that sound healthy to you? <laughs> Does that sound like a good use of your energy? Hmm? Yeah, bro, go to the sewers <laughs> and then try to get these. Ooh. Look at these. Look at these two. Ooh. No, guys. Dude, you couldn't get that, bro. You couldn't get the bit. I'm a game guy. I've got, I've got a, I've got a mouth breathing complex. You couldn't get that bit with your sun hat and your sunglasses. I got news for you, wannabe alphas, and you alpha queens. I got bad news for you. Nobody wants you. <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> ah, with your with your little game. <laughs> Nobody's going for you, son. So you you stay here on the you you know what you do you stay on the internet and you type on your little keyboard and you and then you go and you get your little jurgens you get your jurgens and you take care of business if you know what I mean. Go ahead and do that, son. And guess what? I know it hurts that we're coming up and we're having fun and we're on top and. We don't need to do any of the things that you think you need to do. But you're going to learn the hard way, son. And in a couple of years, you're going to say, damn, he was right. And you're not going to admit it. You're not going to be able to, because you don't have any guts. You have no spine. You're not going to come back. You're not going to come back and say, oh, you know, bro, you were right. You're not going to do it because you want to know why. 
because of your own ego. That's correct, son. I know you better than you know yourself because I know how weak you are because I used to be you. Oh, I do. I got your number, son. I know who you are. You think you're real tough, Mr. Simp. Mr. Never grown a uh, facial hair in your entire life. Mr. Never, never gone through any type of combat. You never been in a fight. You never put the smack down on anybody. You never stood your ground. You're the weakest individual on the planet. You're going to tell me what's going down. I don't think so, sir. <laughs> and that's why I laugh at you. <laughs> you guys are funny, man. <laughs> I'm a keyboard warrior. I'm a keyboard warrior. That's me. Spineless. Sp I'll do whatever you want, honey. Oh, I'm alpha online. You should. That's that. That's what your screen. <laughs> that's what your handle should be. Alpha online. <laughs> uh, simp in real world. Oh my god. You guys are just the fun because you overcompensate, son. And it's pretty funny. But anyway, you're gonna waste your energy on that. You're gonna waste your energy on sewers being in the sewers trying to find a di dime in the sewers is that really what you're going to waste your energy on no you're not we've gone through the s t and e i'm not wasting my money or energy on any freaking low value crap because again guys what i did was i betrayed myself many years ago i betrayed my own standards you know guys i used to and guys we all start off this way Right? And then we get the, we listen to people kicking the crap out of us saying we deserve less. And we've earned less. I don't think so. I got news for all you guys out there, mother legionnaires. You've earned the best. To all my legionnaires out there, you have earned the best. You want to know why? Because you're here. Because you've got a spine, because you're fighting to win that's why you've earned the best not mediocre not a bunch of a bunch of ran through gross individuals with t tattoos and body piercings and blown out sections of their you know their body you've earned better than that and guys the worst thing i ever did was betray my own standards the worst thing I ever did, I'll never forget it. Because we all start off with these standards. I want a, a nine. And then people start telling you, no, you can't get it. And by the way, when you're a kid, you start thinking, well, I don't deserve that because I'm ugly or fat or bald or I got a big nose. F that. You heard a year. I don't care what these stupid dating... By the way, to all the dating roaches out there and the, the what's it called game guys, I got news for you. You're my sons. I own you. That's correct. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care how old you are. If you're a dating roach or a game guy, you are definitely my son. It is a 100% guarantee. You want to know why? Because you have not adapted, son. You're living in 1983. Oh, <laughs> just approach, bro. It's the best time to approach, bro, because nobody's approaching. I wonder why nobody's approaching. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Think, McFly, think. I gotta have time to recopy. <laughs> you guys are the goofiest. Okay. Dating, dating, this is hard, and you gotta teach them and hold mask them for <sighs> Anyway, let me not disturb this guy. Oh, I've got my girlfriend, and she's gonna tell me. She's gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm mask on both. I'm out, out, but anyway, are you guys gonna waste your energy? on 304 whatever you know all the terms that you guys use in high value and all this nonsense you you don't even understand yourself son no, you're not so anyway guys i betrayed my own standards because i started off you know i'll never forget you want to know something guys 
I didn't betray my standards in the beginning. You want to know why, guys? Because I was a dork. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys on a little secret. When I was in middle school, and it's not even a secret, when I was in middle school, I was short, short, well, a little shorter than average. I had, you know, curly hair, crazy curly hair. I got made fun of for that. I had glasses. I'm not making this, guys, I'm dead serious. I was skinny, scrawny. I looked like a goofball. I had braces. And guys, I want to let you in on a little secret. I wasn't an alpha. And guess what? It didn't stop me. Because as much as I got teased and punked and sometimes I got into fights and I got into trouble at school and I had to go home and all sorts of crazy... Guys, it didn't matter. What am I getting at? It doesn't matter where you're at. It matters where you're going to be. Oh, yeah. You see how I drop these bombs, these nuggets for you guys? So anyway, I'm this skinny, scrawny, goofy little kid. I'll never forget. Guys, I'm not making this up. I'm in middle school. I'm in sixth grade. And a girl, I'm not making this up. Girls can be vicious, man. She said one of the funniest things I've ever heard. It, 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 to this day. She goes, grow a chest. And I go, huh? How, how? I, I was like, okay. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know what she meant. This other guy said, ew. I, I, or girl. It, it was just funny, guys. They were, they were brutal. And sometimes they were really, you know, really nice. And, and they were all interested and said, hi. You know, they, <laughs> but what am I getting at? When I was a skinny little dork nerd with the fro, and I was getting into fights and getting into trouble. And I, you know, I was really low. And I would get mocked and made fun of. And I was called a scapegoat and all this other nonsense. You want to know something? Who the... I don't think you're getting in the video, sweetheart. Hold on a sec. Let's get... Let's get a, no, 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 no. This is not happening, dude. So, when I was a skinny little dork and doing all those things and having all these adventures and going off on my rollerblades and riding my bike and getting into trouble and having so much fun and playing hockey and getting into guys you get into a lot of fights when you're in middle school i got my i didn't i didn't really get my butt kicked but i did get tossed around a couple times which is good i never took a punch to the face so that's good but so later on i'm in sixth seventh maybe eighth grade right and guys, I had standards, even though I was taking licks, even, oh, Jesus Christ, this attention thought is really getting on my nerves, guys. Dude, she's freaking fat. What the F are you doing, man? Holy mother of God. She's like, you, I don't like this. She's trying to get in this freaking video and it's getting on my nerves. Okay, go, go, bitch. She's out of she's out, she's out of frame now. <sighs> hey, Kayleafs. Hi. We're on our e-bikes. We're having fun. Yeah. Little Kayleafs. will always make you happy, guys. Hey guys, I was a skinny little nerd in 6th, 7th, 8th grade and I got made fun of and I would get into fights and everybody, some people would pick on me and I'd pick on them and all sorts of crap would happen, right? And I got tossed around a couple times and got in trouble. Now, I got braces, I got glasses, I got a fro. I'm getting teased. I didn't dress very well. Now, what happened? No matter how much people kicked the crap out of me, guys, no matter how much I got kicked around, there was something inside, just like every other guy, that says I have earned better. I'm going to do better. I'm going to find a way. And some of us get that extinguished out of us. We get, the, we get that beaten out of us. Well, I got news for you. To my legionnaires, you have earned better. Hit that like button. You have earned better. You are going to get better. You're going to get quality. And I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. 
Look at this old guy. He is always cruising around being a, being a, being tough. He's funny. So, as much as I was kicked around, as much as things weren't going well for me, I, I'm going to fast forward for you guys. As much as I got made fun of and kicked around, and as much as things weren't going well, sometimes things went well, sometimes they didn't. I fight, fought back. Sometimes I didn't. Guess what happened? Around eighth grade, guys, around eighth grade, there was a dance. Rich Shea says, women expect the guy to be rich and do everything. Yeah, in America, they definitely do rich. But overseas, they really couldn't care less. These, these little Kayleys. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. That's one of my subscribers right there. See all these little Kayleys over here having a good time? Everybody's having a good time? Yeah, guys, Kayleys think they, they can do better. But in all reality, they're not going to be getting much in the real world. So, wait, which way am I going? I wanted to go down a little alley, but there's no little alley. You know what, let's go. I don't feel like all these things. So, a dance rolls around, guys. An eighth grade dance. You guys are going to laugh. Nobody would dance or, like, touch the girls or go over the girls or nothing. And guess what, guys? You know what I did? Even though I was a dork, even though I was a lame, even though I was a nerd, even all those things. You know what I thought in my head? I said, guys, to my legionnaires, I said, you know what? I'm going to take a chance because I know I can do better. And what have I got to lose? I'm not making this up, guys. True story. Eighth grade dance. You know what I said? I grabbed the prettiest girl I could find. The prettiest girl I could find. And she's like, okay. And guys, I was crapping my pants. I'm not going to lie to you. I was very nervous. When you're, you know, you're in middle school. You, I never even touched, guys. I'd never even gotten close to a girl before like this. You know what I mean? So for me, to get this moment where I took my balls, all the guys that would give me issues, kick my kick my self-esteem around and let I would let them. All these guys had the smallest balls out of everybody. Now what am I getting at? Who gives a rat's ass about some dating roach, fake wannabe alpha loser trying to shame you back to the plantation? Who get guys, I never I didn't betray my standards at that age. And she was shocked. She was kind of surprised. She's like, oh and I grabbed her and I was like, you know, let's do this. And not only, I didn't dance just with her. I danced with another chick too. And no other guy, guys, they were petrified. Now, what am I getting at? What I'm getting at is betraying your standards makes no freaking sense at any age. <laughs> she heard me. She's like, oh, <laughs> that little Ling Ling, her, her, her ears perked up. I didn't betray my standards, guys, and my self-esteem started to go up. Then when I hit high school, my self-esteem went even higher because you know what I did, guys? Even though I was still a dork, even though I was not respected and disrespected periodically, and guys would try to come after me because I was short and pick on me and all that stuff, I still asked out the hottest chicks in school. I didn't care. I said, you know what? Screw it. But you know what I did, gentlemen? The first woman I was ever with, I betrayed my standards. And that's when my self-esteem started to go down. Gentlemen, when you betray yourselves and you go against your word, you have now ruined your self-esteem. Gentlemen, when you go back to the well, you see this right here? Guys, is this what you want right here? These fatty McGillicuddies, these fatty McGees, you want that? Is that your standards? Is that your, is that what you want? No, it's not. You guys are not going to betray your standards. You are going to get quality from your life. Not just with, not just with women and relationships, but also with your quality of life. Dude, this guy's weird. This old man is weird. He's always riding around like a creep. Anyway. 
It's not going to betray your standards, guys. Look at this. Ling Ling is not up to my standards. Her body's okay, but her... And this is part of that energy. That's what I'm getting at. The attention is number four. Sanity, time, energy, attention. Your attention, gentlemen, is worth more than money to women. Your attention is worth more than status to women. It is worth everything. Meaning her status, not your status. <laughs> when you give women attention, guys, it gives them a high. When you give women attention, it fulfills their requirements. When you take away your attention, when you guard it with your life, when you ignore them, you now have all the power. Look at, the, look at this house, guys. Check out this house. This freaking thing is like, it's got to be eight figures. Can you believe that crap? It's insane. I don't, I don't. All right, all right. I'll deal with normies. Fine. Fine. I'm going to deal with normies. I'm going to deal with normies. Look at this guy. This guy with his 304 wife. His 304 wife has a tattoo on her arm. Anyway, attention. Attention is one of those things you guys are starting to realize that the ladies are lacking now. The ladies are lacking it. They are lacking the attention. They cannot get it in the real world. Oh, you want to see the sunset, guys? Take a look. Pretty nice out. Lots of Kaylee's out today. Oh, we're playing volleyball. We love it. Dude, this guy's popping wheelie. Dang, dude. What's Check up, it out. Oh, 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 I missed him. <laughs> One of my subscribers was popping a wheelie. He, he, he rides around a lot, guys. He's always active. He's still young, so he hasn't been... Uh, the attention. Taking that away. When you guys take away the attention that these little you-know-whats want, you are now taking back your self-esteem, gentlemen. You are taking back your power. It is probably the most important thing you could ever, ever do in your entire life is take away the attention. Guys, I was at the gym today. And as I've told you, there are more thoughts. What is this? Clown boy. Clown boy. Old man wants a piece of this, huh? <laughs> clown boy. <laughs> you just call me clown boy. <laughs> I'm gonna call him fat boy <laughs> when he comes back. <laughs> Them be fighting words. Anyway, he's just the old stupid old man. You don't know better. <laughs> Should I call him fat boy? Anyway, <sighs> what else? Attention. Maybe it's because I gave him attention. Maybe he's a woman. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with him. You guys can already tell. But I'm going to go ahead and move along. Oh, this guy has an elliptical, guys. Take a look. Two ellipticos. Those are elliptical bikes. Those are badass. I used to have one of those guys. I got rid of it because it was too old. So I gave it to one of my neighbors. I give it to... It's like an elliptical bike. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. That dude had one and his lady had one. Anyway. As we move along. Attention. Attention. Jesus. You see what I'm saying? The fatties need attention, guys. When you take attention away from them, they get really, 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 really upset. This drives them up the wall. This drives them up the wall, and now they go nuts. They go absolutely crazy. This drives them up the freaking wall. They can't handle it. Then they start throwing tantrums. Then they start doing crazy things to try to get attention. They start throwing tantrums. They roll around on the ground. 
they get really frustrated. This frustrates them to no end. It makes them very, very frustrated. And it drives them up the wall. Oh, oh my God, guys. This girl is falling down drunk. This is just sad. Look at that. Isn't that sad, guys? <laughs> just drunk, falling down. That's that's your future. To my AWs, that's your future, ladies. That's your future. Falling down drunk in the sand. Isn't that pathetic, guys? That's the most pathetic thing I've seen all day. This guy's trying to fix something. We're going to go to the pier, gentlemen. But what happens is the attention starts drying up. There's a lot of drunks out today, guys. It might get kind of weird. It might get kind of nutty. But I feel like taking a chance. I feel like taking a freaking chance. So I'm going to do it. But unfortunately, the attention well fought, dries up pretty quickly. And especially since guys aren't giving away their attention so freely anymore, what they're doing is they're holding on to it. They're holding on to their attention. And as you guys see in a lot of my streams, what they do is they try to jump in. They try to make noises. They try to, they try to do things that'll capture the audience. But unfortunately, that's a thing of the past. Because what they don't understand is AI is already here. And it's taking away their virtual attention. Guys are understanding that they need to just stay away from these annoying individuals. And that's what a lot of dating is now, guys. Do you understand that dating, quote unquote, it's about getting attention there. Getting as many guys... Guys, you understand that if you are talking to a woman on any of these stupid dating apps, she's talking to 50 other dudes. She's sucking away that attention. She's sucking up your attention. That's what she's doing. What the hell? Dude, this girl's like four foot nothing. <laughs> but yeah, guys, the attention thoughting is out of control. And that's what dating. I always use quotations because there's no such thing as dating, guys. It's just a stupid buzzword. But that's what they do. That's what they do, is they try to suck up attention now with dating. And the last one is going to be money. They are going to try to soak up your money. This is why guys can't afford it. Gentlemen, they are literally trying to get any one of these five and drive you up the wall. So guys are just walking away. You don't, you don't need to take my word for it. You just take a look at what's happening in the real world. Take a look what's happening. <laughs> It's crazy. Anyway, they'll try to soak up your money. Foodie dates. Right? Foodie calls, essentially. Uh, what else? Buying things. Paying for things. Essentially, they want to be uh, compensated for their time. And that just doesn't fly anymore. Because guys are holding on to their money. Guys aren't big spenders in general. They're not big spenders. They hold on to their money. They're pretty frugal. And there's nothing the little ladies can do about this, guys. Unfortunately, the little ladies' time in the West has ended. It's ended. And what's really, really interesting is that guys are finally getting their act together. And what they're doing is getting quality overseas. And that's what this really boils down to, guys. Quality over quantity. <laughs> Kid is losing his freaking mind. That's another thing you don't see in uh, 
overseas, guys, is kids misbehaving, even for a split second. <sighs> and that's what it's all about, getting quality. Getting back to quality. Because deep down, guys, you know exactly what qualifies as quality to you. You know exactly what you're doing or not doing. You know exactly when you're betraying yourself and lowering your standards. Well, that's not going to happen overseas. Because overseas, you're going to keep your standards very, very high. Overseas, you're going to keep your standards through the roof. And you're going to tell all these fatties, whales, walruses, fox, you're going to tell them to kick rocks because they're not up to your standards. And I got news for all the nutty AWs out here who are completely ran through and just, oh, oh, don't look at me, please. Oh, oh, those old animals. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to see what they were doing, guys. These gross, their faces. I got bad news for YAWs out here. Guys are keeping their standards really, really high. High enough that you will never be able to achieve them. That's just how it goes. In fact, you're so far down the rung of quality that even simps can't save you. Isn't that sad? AWs literally can't be saved. Because of Sims. Well, because of Sims, and also there's just not enough Sims. You know, it's, it's twofold. There's not enough Sims to go around. And Sims have done this to me. Since they shot him in the foot. I'm trying to get around it. It's really crowded over here, guys. Watch out. This guy with his little tree. Unfortunately, guys have walked away, and to get quality, gentlemen, he's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. And you want to know the great thing about taking your money overseas is we don't discuss this enough. Is you're going to be spending a lot less than you would in the West. You're going to be living like a king overseas with the most quality women on the planet. Isn't that funny? You're literally going to be approached by... <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> oh, it's the greatest feeling. It's the greatest feeling ever. It's the greatest feeling. Knowing that you can get the best of the best. And your dollar will take you much farther. Isn't that great? And you don't have to betray your standards. That's the best part of all this. That's the best part of all this. You don't have to deal with any of this nonsense. Cucks, simp, social media makes women act the way they do. JJ is right. And that's okay. Guys, it's been a blessing in disguise for you. It's been the greatest blessing in disguise. Because then you don't have to deal with all these headaches. You don't have to deal with the ass kissing. You want to know what's funny about simps? They're real hard on other guys, but their little wives crack the whip on them. You know what I mean? They're the, literally the weakest individuals you will ever come across in your entire life. They're so pathetic, man. Let's, let's go to the freak. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. As there's a bunch of drunk, uh oh, there's a bunch of drunk, freaking over the hill, uh, 304s over here. We're going to go around. Let's go. Yeah. But the best part of all of this is you get to avoid all this nonsense. You have been given a blessing in disguise. You don't need to deal with any of this nonsense. You don't have to deal with any of these headaches. <laughs> you can just deal with crazy old men on bicycles like me. <laughs> that fat old guy's weird, man. He just rides around it. He's just a creep. He like goes in circles. 
Oh, yeah. Let's go to the pier, guys. Let's go to the pier to my legionnaire. Let's go to the pier. Stay away from all these drunken, over-the-hill post-menopause, post-wall, you-know-whats. No thanks. Times infinity. Oh, God, jeez. Oh. Trust me, you don't want to see, gentlemen. I should have gone the other direction, but let's go where the bikes are. <laughs> this old guy, he's funny. It's always a, it's always some old guys with pot bellies around here. Yeah, your steam will be sucked dry. Your steam will be sucked dry. And this is very unsettling to a lot of gentlemen. And I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys don't have to deal with this anymore. I'm glad that you are not being a part of this. That you are holding out for quality. And see, that's what this really boils down to. This is the thing that hurts the AWs the most. This, guys, this hurts simps. This hurts Western society. This hurts AWs. It makes them furious because what you're doing is you're proving them wrong. And they don't like that at all, guys. Because if you sit around and feel sorry for yourself and mope, oh my god, oh, why did I look over there? Oh, guys, do you see that? Oh, 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 man, my eyes. Oh, it looks like a tube of toothpaste with legs. Oh, oh, my lord, I'm going to throw up. Why did I look that way? <laughs> oh, man, I just had to look. Oh, man. That's fine. I think I'm just a little bit paralyzed in the face. The, the thing that pisses off the West the most, all these angry people, is you proving them wrong, is you getting quality. Because you want to know the biggest, biggest, biggest lie that's ever been told is that you're going to get quality in the West. And you're not. Ouch. That's the biggest lie that's ever been told. That you're going to somehow get quality here. And that's why they never bring it up, guys. They don't try to argue with you on it because they know they cannot deliver. And a lot of you guys are wondering, why do they want you to stay? Well, pff, duh, misery loves company. Guys, this isn't complicated. If you want to ran through Western Chick, have at it. Look, guys, they're everywhere. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. There's one right there playing volleyball. Helicopter coming to save you. Thank you. You want your ran through chick? Have at it. You want your fantasy bubble? Hey, come to the West. But if you want quality, you're going to have to go take your dollar elsewhere. You're going to have to take your whole existence elsewhere. And everybody blows a fuse. Wait till I have traditional foreign women that I am literally interviewing on this channel live. You guys wait. I don't know. We'll see if I can do it live. I don't know. That's, that's still up for debate. You just wait. Uh-oh. 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 She's like a... Uh, Challenge! Yeah. It's like a five, five and a half. She's in shape though. Fake, you know what? Wait till I have traditional foreign women on this show, gentlemen. You just wait. And to all my TFWs out there, you can go ahead and email me. That's cool. To my little Venezuelans, to my little Colombians, Vietnamese, even if you're English. See, the thing is, guys, traditional foreign women are a little shy and they're very nervous about having bad English. But I promise you, to all my little TFWs, you can go ahead and reach out to me. We will set up a couple interviews. I will screen you. You can come on. And we can go ahead and I can have you talk to the Western American guys. And that's cool. It might be a Skype call. It might be a WhatsApp call. But that's fine. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let you get to know traditional Western guys. And I'm going to let you 
it, it might not be on this channel, guys, because I'm probably going to keep it guy only. But I will create another channel specifically for it and link it to this. What I'm going to do is have my little TFWs come out and talk to you guys so you can see quality. Quality attitudes. Quality in shape. Quality saving. Wait till you hear traditional foreign women talk about saving. It's going to blow your freaking mind. Wait till you hear the opposite of steam. How she's not going to try to make you lose your freaking mind every five seconds. How she is going to not monopolize your time. She's not going to monopolize your energy, your attention, your money. She is going to follow, support, and save. And it's going to blow your freaking mind. You're going to lead, provide, protect. She's going to follow, support, and save. And it's going to blow your freaking... You, you, you're going to just blow your... You're going to, some of you guys are going to blow a fuse. And other guys are just going to say, oh, cool. I have something to look forward to. Because really what this channel is all about, guys, is so first of all, you know that you're not alone. And number two, knowing that you have something to look forward to. You have something that's not a blown out, raggedy, gross, you know, complete <laughs> individual who needs constant attention. Oh, bro. Put your w away. Let's see this. Oh, she has a belly, bro. Guys, she has a belly. Not, not my standards. Ooh, you just have impossible standards. Yeah, we do. Over here at the Winner's Legion, my guys have standards. They have earned better. So, if, for example, guys, my standards. You want to hear my standards? I don't care if American girls don't like it. You want to know why? Because I can get this overseas very e relatively easily. You know what my standards are, guys? You want to hear my standards? I'm going to tell you my standards. My quality. So, when I go overseas, I have a type... And I don't care. You know what? You want to know what's funny? Is the traditional foreign women love your type. If you have a type, guys, they're going to see if they qualify. So I go overseas. Here's my type. Okay? You really want to know. This one drives the little... See, you got all these... Look, you got all these good-looking guys in LA. In great shape. And they have the lowest standards, guys. Dude, this, this guy's a good-looking guy. And I bet you he's got low standards. All right, sad. Anyway, here's my standards. Let's say I go overseas and I go to uh, Colombia or Mexico. I know my type. Okay? You guys know your type. You know your standards. Let's say our standards out loud. Oh, damn, that girl's in shape. Guys, I love fit women. Not fat, fit. See, I don't know if you guys can see. She's got her little abs. Oh. She's got her little abs. See her? There she goes. There she goes, spiky girl. She's got her little abs. I like that. Anyway, here's my standards. When I go overseas, first, they gotta have a pretty face. Sorry, I don't care if. Sorry, uggos. I can't do it. I've been with uggos before. Can't do it. Average face. Sorry. We have standards over here, guys. So. What kind of face do I like? You guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I have it completely mapped out. I like girls with a heart shape. So when I go to, like, let's say I go to Columbia. I like girls with a diamond-shaped face or a heart-shaped face. Diamond-shaped face usually is a little bit longer. It's more pretty. She's got kind of um, a little bit higher cheekbones. You know what I'm saying? Long, dark hair. Long, dark hair. She's a little taller, usually 5'6", yeah, 5'5", five, five, five ish more than that range. Maybe 5'7". Guys, girls don't get that tall. Especially in Latin America, they, they're pretty short. Okay? In shape. That means fit. That means no cellulite. Alright? That lady heard me. She didn't like it. <laughs> She heard that. She didn't. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. She didn't. 
no cellulite. This, this eliminates, not that many. <laughs> this just el eliminates the older ones. Because that's when they start getting cellulite. And even overseas, they really don't. So another one that you're not going to like, AWs, and I don't really care. They've got to be young. Yes, you heard it here. 18 to 23. I don't care if you don't like it. To all the AWs who complain, I couldn't care less. In fact, the reason, the, the fact that you're complaining makes it. Dude, guys, take a look at this house. It's freaking four stories. One, two, three, and then it has a basement. God damn. <laughs> it's freaking four stories. It's even got an attic. That's crazy. Guys, is that attention thotting or not? You see what I'm talking about? This is what you get in the LA, guys. She's literally bow legged. You know what that means, guys? <laughs> Tattoos on the calves, loud and obnoxious, trying to get as much. This is what you get in the West, guys. You think I would go for that? I have standards, ladies. And I don't care if you don't meet them. If you don't meet them, that's a good thing. AWs who don't meet these standards, I couldn't care less. And neither do my legionnaires. Anyway, Latinas. Skin color really doesn't bother me. I like a little bit of a tan. Is is smoking hot. Light skin's fine, too. I really don't care. A lot of Latinas are light skin. She has to have a pretty smile. The face needs to be a six or above. I don't care if you don't like it to my AWs. Six or above with no makeup. Okay? Pretty. All right? Good smile. In shape. I don't really care if they have big breasts or none of that. It doesn't matter to me. They got to be in shape. Fit. Firm. No cellulite. Deal with it. I don't care if you don't like it. I like them athletic. Now, if I go over to Asia, it's a little different. Like I'm a little cute. Right? Like the heart-shaped face. Heart shape. Yeah. Dimples is cool. It's fine. Again, guys, I do not like a girl with a crappy smile. If they got RBF, it's time to go. <laughs> if they got resting bitch face, I'm not interested. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. Bye. If you're not smiley, if you're not bubbly, if you're not bouncy, this is more personality, but you gotta have a pretty smile, guys. I don't like girls with big noses either. Okay. But Colombianas, they're really phew, ridiculous. Ridiculous in shape, ridiculous bodies. She's got to be at least a six or above in the face, period. And this is my standards, guys. When I go overseas, these are my standards, and they will be met or nothing's happening. In fact, if they want to be the girlfriend, they got to be pretty, man. Now, why am I telling you guys this? Because, gentlemen, we have standards over here. That's the one thing I've noticed that guys are very consistent about on this channel. They got standards. Now, some guys are all about fatties. They're not really legionnaires. They're just simps in disguise, which is cool. I don't care if they're 30 something and cute or whatever. Yes, guys, this is over the hill. All right? Very over the hill. I don't care. My standards are what they are. 18 to 23. Enjoy the ride home. Should be a good time, huh? Yeah. Long hair. In shape. Period. And guess what? It's not that hard to find. <laughs> to my legionnaires out there. Right. When I go to Asia, different. They can be a little shorter. Heart-shaped face. Button nose. Pretty smile. I don't care if their eyes are, you know, you know. I know you guys may think this is weird, but I like them looking a little more Asian, if you know what I mean. If the if the eyes are more almond shaped, that's cool, but that's what I like. I'm not going to be shamed for my preferences. 
So if you guys have standards, go ahead and implement them. If I go to Eastern Europe, I already know what I like. I like Zdenka, baby. <laughs> long hair, long hair in shape. These are non-negotiables. And by the way, guys, the personality, nine times out of 10, 99% of the time is going to be great anyway, because they're foreign, they're traditional foreign, they're bubbly, they're happy, they're full of cuteness and stuff, all sorts of silly mannerisms and giggliness. Guys, there's plenty of, look at this fit Katie. She's very fit. She's not bad looking, but it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter, guys. She's got all sorts of dudes around her. She probably ran through. These are just things we have to deal with in the West. So the best news is taking your money elsewhere. Taking it away and getting quality. And the best part is your standard of living will increase because you your dollar goes further. Ah. It's a beautiful name. Where's that fat old man? Where did he go? <laughs> that is the weirdest old man. Guys, he comes around. He's always around here. He like goes in a weird circle. He might be perving out or something. I don't know. What the hell is that? Dogs agree. <laughs> the dog just agree. <laughs> so it's time for us to take our dollar overseas, gentlemen. Quality. That's our job. And everybody and their mother is going to blow a fuse. Why do we go overseas, bro? They can't, you guys, they can't even say it with a straight face. Why? And then they go right into the dick's tactics. Deflection, insult, guilt, gaslighting. Shit. Why do you want to go overseas? The whiny. Oh my god. The amount of simps. I, I gotta get the hell out of here. I can't guys, I cannot wait to go back overseas. And I'm gonna map out everything. So when I'm in Colombia, when I'm in Colombia and probably hop, skip, and a jump away over to Costa Rica, maybe Panama. It's a nice helicopter. I love helicopters. When I go over there. When I go over there, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I'll map it out and I'll tell you guys all about the tour dates. And to all my traditional foreign women out there, yes, you can start emailing now. And by the way, I'm probably going to interview you before we bring you on the show. Don't worry. Don't be nervous. You're going to get a good, high-quality Western man. All right. And I'm going to let you little ladies know now because you do hit me up periodically. And don't worry about your English. We will use translators and all this. You'll be fine. Western men want to know more about you. Okay? If you're a little South Korean nugget, don't worry. We will. Most South Korean women actually know English as a second language. They're pretty good at it, actually. Guys, traditional foreign women are usually very well educated. It's, it's kind of shocking. They're usually smarter than the AWs come across. <laughs> They're more worldly. But yeah, it probably won't be on this channel, but it'll be a accompanying channel. And it's just going to be for the little TFWs. And then they can get together and make menudo and chili de annos and bulgogi and bon mi, and they're all going to get together it's going to be great, guys. It's going to be spectacular. And you guys will say, oh, okay. These girls are pretty good. Oh, okay. They're cute. They're reasonable. And maybe I'll get a couple on. I, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll take a look at it. We'll take a look. They might be in a tiny little town. You know what's funny, guys? <laughs> they usually, usually the poor, the town... Usually the prettier they are. That's what's so funny. <laughs> That's what you're going to notice. You're going to be like, geez, why is she in that place? Lord. And yet she sees it as home. That's the fun. Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> the AWs are pissed. 
The Simpsons. And Gabe got right in black. Go, go get you. Go, go, go. You don't work out your chest, bro. You don't work out your chest. You know what, bro? I don't like you anymore, bro. I'm an unsubscriber, bro. I love fat girls, bro. Good for you. To all the guys out, to the sips out there who love fat chicks, enjoy. Have a blubber marathon. That sounds good to me. Go for it, man. It's good. Look. Whatever your preference is, I really don't care. But you're never going to convince me that they're hot. You are never going to convince me that that's sexy. Not in a billion years. Because I got standards, buddy, and you got none. Yes, it is a fetish. No, it is nothing more than that. You want to know why? Because if you really, really love them, you know what you would do? You'd wife them up in a millisecond, but you don't. You know what you do? You run through them like this guy. You think he's going to wife her up? No, he's not. You guys are so full of crap. Man. Now, some of you guys do, and you got a fetish, and that's cool. But you're never going to make it normal. Because it is not normal. And by the way, you guys have never even, to those of you who are into massive whales, land whales, you've never been with a foot fit woman in your life. So how do you know what you like? You have no idea, son. And that's why you're my son. Because <laughs> you have no experience. To those of you who don't have as much experience as, as me, you're going to be my son. That's how it goes. You're my son. Or probably a little brother or something like that. Which is cool. Damn, that guy's got that cafe razor. Check it out. Damn, that thing's fast. Like, it must be like 200 pounds. Like a tiny micro bike. <sighs> getting kind of hungry, guys. I don't need to get hungry. I'm getting kind of hungry. Uh oh. It's a chicken. Oh, she's putting. What are you up to? You too, girl. She's back here. She's here. Yeah, guys really can't afford, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, fortunately, guys cannot afford dating in the West. They can't afford dating American women. It's too much of a strain. And now all the little AWs, they start going, you don't want you anyway. Well, we're neighbors. <laughs> I'm single Sarah I'm a single mom I try to work out but I can't because I have a hematoma on my leg and my kids my kids come first and you come last but you need to give me everything I was never married before I just thought I knew better Single Sarah. Single mom. Womp, womp, womp. Poor single Sarah. She thought she knew better. I thought I could do it on my own. I was wrong. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, cellulite. Cellulite, guys. Oh. That Keely had cellulite. Your standards are too high. You're, you can't handle a weight. You know what? They don't say that anymore, guys. They used to say this all the time. You know what the go-to shaming tactic was before? You can't handle a weight. Now they don't say that anymore. You want to know why? Because they aren't real. Ouch. Ooh. Hurts, doesn't it? Stings. <laughs> oh, I have too much fun on this channel. I swear to God I do. <laughs> Let's go watch the sunset, guys, to my legionnaires. Let's go. Oh my goodness, it is powerful. Legionnaire lifestyle. Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? It's a good feeling knowing that you guys are gonna get quality. You know what it really is, guys. You know what would make me really happy? And is gonna make me even more happy, is when you guys start telling me your success stories. Which I already have guys who are overseas, but like my sub who's going, he's moving to a specific country. We're not going to say, I'm not going to talk about him. He knows who he is. He's moving. <laughs> I cannot wait until he's over there and just gushing about how he's winning. Because he already, 
you want to know what's funny is he already went there. He's already setting up shop overseas. He can't wait. I'm helping him with his business. Dude, he's going to kill it because he's got the mindset. I cannot wait until more and more of you guys start migrating overseas like myself and start just sticking it to these morons here in the West and you start just needling them. Because guys, what are they going to do when you go overseas and you start winning? They are going to lose their mother flipping minds. Look at this beautiful guy. It's beautiful out today, guys. They're going to lose their crap. And you know the best part of all of it? There's nothing they can do about it. There's nothing they can do. All they can do is cry and whine. Isn't that beautiful, guys? This bird just landed right in front of us. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Gotta love it, baby. Gotta love LA. Sometimes. Sometimes not, but sometimes yes. But the best part of all this is they are going to have to stay miserable. They're going to have to stay miserable. And you are just going to giggle. <laughs> you're going to be laughing your way straight to the bank because you're going to be saving money. Ouch. And they are not. Ouch. And that's what I really, 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 really enjoy about this channel is we get to rub it in everybody's faces. <laughs> we get to just rub it. Because, gentlemen... If I started this channel probably about mm, three, four years ago, you guys would have been seeing vlogs already. And they would have been hilarious. But to be honest, I really wasn't ready back then anyway, so it's fine. Now we get prepped. Now I know how to set up the technology. Now I know how to set up the Skyping and the WhatsApping and the live streams and all this nonsense. Stream yards, stream labs, whatever. Whatever. You set it up, and then you're off to the races. You see what I mean? And that's why I'm talking to traditional foreign women now. They can come on over and start sending me and saying, hey, where are these Western men? I'd love to meet them. <laughs> and my little TFWs. And by the way, if you are a married or engaged traditional foreign woman, I would still love to interview you. Okay? You could be single or not. It does not matter. If you are a traditional conservative foreign woman, if you have a channel, if you are a conservative foreign woman and you have a channel, you can re reach out to me. We can collaborate. We can talk. And we can discuss. You want to know why? Because you have the same mindset as my legionnaires. You have the same mindset. You are already there. You want to live happily ever after at the sunset. And you understand that it's not a fairy tale. You understand that it takes work. You understand that you are to follow, support, and save. And your man is going to provide, lead, provide, and protect and he cannot wait to be with you. Here, see how quiet it is, guys? Everybody's out partying. <sighs> Not I, gentlemen. I'm going to be editing. I am going to be time stamping. I am going to be setting up shorts. Because, gentlemen, unfortunately to my legionnaires, the West has a long, long, long way to go. Generations. They're going to be suffering for a long time. And I'm not going to be here to be, to be part of that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to be sipping Mai Tais on the beach in Thailand. For my little Thai girls out there who are very curious about Farang. Traditional Farang. You can go ahead and hit me up too as well. Oh, I know you. I've met many of you. If you're a little Vietnamese, you can hit me up too as well. Traditional if you're a liberal foreign woman, I'm going to suss you out very quickly. So don't even try. I know you still will. But you are not going to be getting on my show if you are a liberal foreign woman. It is not happening. You are not. Guaranteed. <laughs> liberal foreign woman.
That is funny, dude. You will be traditional. And you will start to meet Western. Is that what you guys want? Oh shit, my bad. No worries, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that what you guys want? Freaking out at late chicks? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> to my traditional form woman, go ahead and send in your little resumes. Let us know what you're up to. Let us know what's going on over there in Cambodia. And by the way, guys, I might just be proactive and just go out there and start hitting up some of these Filipinas because there's a lot of Filipinas, guys. There are a lot of Filipinas. There are a lot of Filipinas. They want to be with Western men. And by the way, again, to all you geniuses out there, the vast majority of traditional women who are foreign do not want to leave their country. Mr. She just wants a green card. She wants you to come to her. You want to know why? Because she wants to make your stay pleasant. Because she knows her country better than your country. See, a lot of you guys may not, may not know this. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. They think they get in the street, but they don't. Oh my God, they're so funny. <laughs> it's it, guys, it's just it's it's some Gen Zs. They're they're being silly. they're trying they're trying they're being cute. Let them squeal. <laughs> we by the way, Gen Zs are cool, bro. Right in the face. <laughs> Gen Zs are cool, man. I got no problem with Gen Zs. I have zero problem with Gen. In fact, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, you guys are going to be the next generation. I know you're a little lost right now, but you will be the next generation that ushers in normalcy. It's, it's not, you're not going to complete it, but you'll usher it in. You know what I mean? It's going to take a while. So I'm going to be a way, way old man by then. Anyway, to my traditional foreign women out there, it's okay. You can still hit me up. You can still say hello. You can still come on down. Don't worry if your English is choppy. It's okay. All right. I'm going to be translating. I promise. If all you know is Tagalog and you are a tiny Trilapina, it is okay. Anangostomo. Bulaga. It's okay. Bring your adobo. Bring your pancit. It is okay. If you or a Mexicana. Hola, misters. Hola, señores. Quiero pesos. <laughs> what the hell is that? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I know you want kisses on your cheeks. To my Latinas out there. To my Hispanic, traditional women, you are welcome as well. All of the traditional foreign women, traditional Chinese. You are a little piece of mian pao. That is a piece of bread, guys. It is a, it's like a, it's like a round loaf. So my little Chinese pieces of, you're just very cute. It's okay. You can come on over too as well because my legionnaires are going to be skeptical. I know, to my legionnaires out there, I know a lot of you guys are skeptical. Oh, there he is, fat boy. <laughs> uh, there he is. <laughs> is that weirdo? <laughs> is that weirdo? Anyway, I know that a lot of you girls, I mean, to my legionnaires, I know you're skeptical. What's that weird guy on the bicycle? <laughs> he's like, he's really hunched over. I don't know if he's got back problems or something. Maybe I can fix his back. <sighs> to my legionnaires, I know a lot of you guys are skeptical. 
But as we move forward, you guys are going to get your opportunity with the traditional forearm over. You're going to get your opportunity. And I think what I'm going to have to do, like I said, is either create a separate channel, separate playlist, pr playlist whatever it takes, so you guys can see what's going on. You guys can see the other side and start conversing with these individuals and be blown away. I think that'll be pretty cool, don't you? I'm probably going to keep this place a guys only space, but if I create another channel, I think I'm going to have little TFWs to interview. And that way you guys can get a good understanding of what they're like. About their mannerisms, their culture, etc. They're going to tell us a lot of stuff. And I can interview them, I can get their background, I can get some of the general information, and then you guys can start sifting through the ones that you like. Does that make sense? You guys can start making connections with them. I think that'll be pretty cool. Don't you? Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Because you might, we might as well. I got a lot of guys saying, well, why don't you go over there now, et cetera, et cetera, or when are you going? Well, until I get all my stuff lined up, maybe what I'll do is I'll just interview them. And then that way you guys get a good understanding of how they behave. A lot of my Indian guys want Asian women that aren't Indian. Do you see what I mean? A lot of guys in the West want Eastern European blondes. You see what I'm saying? What I'm getting at, guys, is there's a lot of opportunity to connect Western men and traditional foreign women. Especially Western men who are more traditional. Western men who are religious. Western men who are curious. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting... I'm going to start seeing how I can put that together. And maybe I don't get it done in time by the time I go overseas. Or maybe I do. You see what I'm saying? And I think that's going to be a really, really... I think it's going to be an interesting endeavor. The only hesitation I have about bringing it on this channel is, of course, bringing women onto this channel. So what I might do is just make a separate channel completely. And then we can just interview. That'll be pretty cool. And if it goes really well, I'll live stream them. And then you guys can ask them questions directly, which would be pretty freaking cool. You see what I mean? We live stream it and ask them questions directly. And I might have to translate. <laughs> because if they're really like traditional, traditional, you're not going to speak the best English. But the good news is, you guys will get a ton of information and you'll start saying, whoa, okay, maybe I need to step up my game and get the hell out of Dodge. Maybe I need to get my ass away from all these buffaloes because there are a lot of them. <laughs> maybe I need to start staying away from these AW beach whales. You know, these annoying thoughts squealing every five seconds. You hear that crap, guys? So that's, I think that's going to be on the agenda. I really do. I think I'm going to work on that. I think that's the next stage. I think you guys will be interested. <laughs> Wouldn't it be kind of cool? We interview them. We grill them. <laughs> <laughs> How many? What's your body count? What are you doing over there? <laughs> I am very scared of your legionnaires. They are scary. It's okay to my tra <laughs> to my traditional foreign women who do reach out to me. We're gonna go easy on you, I promise. Because you are a different entity. Oh yeah, guys. When I when I deal with AWs, my demeanor is very different. When I deal with traditional foreign women. My demeanor is very different. 
because I know who I'm dealing with. When I deal with American women, usually it's, I'm either one of two things. I'm usually ultra courteous so they get away from me and they're not attracted to me, or I'm ultra hard on them. There's really not a lot of middle ground. And the reason for this is because I understand how they operate. And I've dealt with them since I was a kid. I know how their brain works. <clears throat> Nothing gets a, uh, AW away from you quicker than you being a simp or a sap. And that's very easy. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just go into that mode and they'll get the hell away from you. Now, if I'm not in a good mood <laughs> because they're annoying me, then I come down on them like a ton of bricks. That's just how it is. Because I really, really, I, I just, I don't, I don't feel like dealing with it. So I shut them down pretty quickly. Anyway, the bottom line is, the quality is overseas. American women don't even know what the hell quality is. They don't even know how to be quality. And it's sad, but it, it's just facts. The saddest part about little AWs is they do want to be at a certain status, but they're just not. So we just got to let them do their thing. So yeah, to all my little TFWs out there, we're going to give you guys some hugs. It's okay. And ask your dad permission or your husband or whatever. And we will start the process. And I think it'll be good experience. You will get to know Western men in our culture and the conservative ones. And we'll get to know your culture. I think it'll be really cool because then, now, you're going to understand each other. And if you're really connecting, what you're going to do is we're going to set you up with American guys, Western American guys. You see what I mean? And we'll, they'll, set, they'll set up with you. And we'll start closing deals. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. So be ready to my little traditional foreign women ladies. To my traditional foreign women out there, be ready. Because you are going to be able to settle down with good men. And we will bring the good men to you. You will bring the good women to us. Everybody's happy. Don't you punch the like button on the way out, gentlemen. Finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section. Share this stream. Become a Legionnaire member, hit the notification button. I appreciate all your guys' likes. It's the thing that keeps me going, keeps this channel going. Send your suggestions in. Let me know what you guys think about interviewing traditional foreign women, specifically in other countries that are very conservative. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Because I think it's a good idea. At the very least, setting up those channels so when I do go overseas, the vlogging is going to be a lot easier. Set up interviews with their sisters, etc., etc., you know, all that stuff. <sighs> Until next time, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you. <laughs> Dating Coach Dan. <laughs> Dating Coach Dan. <laughs> what is this talk about going overseas? <laughs> Bro, why are you going overseas? <laughs> AI Dating Coach Dan. <laughs> I just got punched in the face by an AI fist. <laughs> Dating Coach Dan. <laughs> I kind of sound like Kaylee Power Bubbler. <laughs> you know what? I don't like you anymore. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> AI Dating Coach Dan. <laughs> Foul mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
freaking over the hill post wall women <laughs> you should approach them bro <laughs> sweetly little Kayleys <laughs> <Sick caves. laughs> they're always with their Kayleys are cute man they always have the little e-bikes and they're always so sweet Dating coach did. <laughs> Approach, bro. Approach five billion girls a week. And then put it on a spreadsheet, bro. That means you're you're alpha, bro. That's the only way you can be alpha. Spreadsheet, bro. <laughs> ah. Oh, 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 oh. Until next time, gentlemen. I'm definitely watching you. So, let's get to it. Ah.